Welcome back. If you have enjoyed listening to Clarence, you are going to enjoy listening to those who taught Clarence. I'm sure you heard Clarence say <laughs> she grew up um, learning from people like um, um, Ungosu Ungosu, who is our second guest yes. this afternoon. And as much as if you love Nollywood and you have loved the old series of um, Checkmate, um, of what was commotion. What, what, what of commotion. commotion and the rest, you are going to have a nice time this afternoon. Antungos, you are welcome to the radio show today. Thank you. Um, I'm going to start this way. Um, you've been in the industry for as long as the industry has existed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Looking True. back now at the industry then, and now you're one of those few who has remained relevant from then till to now. now. You understand? Yeah. So tell me, what do you think has changed in the industry? Ah. Hmm. <laughs> ah, I don't think you want us to go today if we, if we start talking about change. Because so many, so many things have changed. So many. So many. Some have changed for the better, mm -hmm. while some have changed for the worst. So which one do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little clip of both for us. Okay. Um, in those days, we were all one in the mm. industry. We had each other's back. But today, mm. 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 you are only you are you. Oh, in fact, you are your own. Mm. If they will step on you to pass, babe, they will step on you and pass not minding mm. so that is one two before in those days there is jealousy mm. but it has a stage there are stages of jealousy but now and it will be about four for you <laughs> ah, if if they will step on you to go blind, nobody cares. Mm -hmm. But before, they will at least say, okay, let's step on one eye, you. Let's leave the other the one. one. But now, ah, oh God. In fact, if you, if you leave your liver safe, they will match it, blend it, throw it away. Is there a personal story to this? No. Okay, now let me ask you this. Um, working then and now, do you think that the young people that are coming now are more professional or the old ones? Huh? Please, withdraw. <laughs> ah, ah. Hey, God, my God, my God, haven't you heard of old wine? Hmm. Old wine will forever taste better. Hmm. Than the new ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, though we have some of them that are really good. But I'm sorry to say. Most of them are wishy-washy. Hmm. Yes. An actor who is not versatile. Who cannot, cannot lift his or herself from one role to the other. What we have now are people selling markets. Hello. When you say selling market, what exactly do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. You're not me, young no. man, and I'm just trying to know uh, exactly what you're saying. But when people say, eh, la ho mini bata, it's a little effect. Exactly. Wow. Well, <laughs> what I meant by selling their market is simple. We have people that don't really care these days about role interpretations. All they care about is how they look. Whether their cleavage is really out. Whether their leg is popping. That's what we have these days. These days that uh, um, everybody can be artificial. You know, it's very hard now to see original now. Because... <laughs> If the nail is artificial, or even I, they can buy it now. Mm. From the head to toe, might be fake. Okay, no. sorry, sorry. 
I'd like to take you quickly back. Mm. Um, you were on one of the biggest shows back then on TV. Mm. Um, checkmate. Check, not even Checkmate. I'm no, sorry, Fuji I'm of not promotion. on Checkmate, but okay. check, uh, Fuji as of Commotion was carved out, out, out of, of checkmate. checkmate. And you had a followership yes. of your own, aside from the show. Mm. Like, your character had a followership. Sure. If you look back, how does that make you feel? Compared to now that we really do not have much series, you know, on traditional TV stations. Hmm. You can say that again. Uh, well, actually, it was the fame that I acquired that time that really saved me when I needed help. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Because the person who actually called the Lagos State government. It was because I was her favorite actor. That's why when she heard that I was down, she called that do not let this person go. It's who I love. Okay. Now um now that you have taken us to that time of your um sickness, yeah. how did it make you feel you were going through a lot and then a popular media came out with a fake news about you then. How did that make you to feel? I remember vividly that the news said two things, that you were not actually sick, that you were just using that thing to raise fund. And then <laughs> after a while, they said it was another thing. I, you know, because I was involved in the whole thing, I remember one or two people called me to ask me. Ahem. Yeah, ahem. Yeah, Lolade. You that you played who wants to be a millionaire for me. <laughs> when you saw me that time, how was I looking? <laughs> I don't want to. Do oh! If I was doing it to make money, may that sickness come upon the person. <laughs> That's all I will say. You saw me now. You played for my life. You and, and uh, was it Lillian? Yes. Yeah. So why would... Look, eh, the backlash that I faced that time is something I don't ever want to remember in my life. Mm. Because it got to a stage, some people were, were, were there was rumor that I've died. There was rumor that I, I was in Germany. Well, while I was in my house, oh, there was rumor that, <laughs> that I've traveled all over. Boy, why? I was still in my house in Nigeria. Lagos. Yes, and the painful part of it is the journalists. Oh God, nothing pains like when a journalist decides to kill you and kill you in your very before with from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Now, who is the horse? <laughs> who is the mount? <laughs> oh, God. From the horses, is that not supposed to be from the reliable source? Meanwhile, yes. you people were writing rubbish that I was not even aware of. And, you, and yet, you claim from the horse's mouth. I beg, who is the horse? <laughs> See, eh, that period is an error i just give god the glory i don't even want to revisit it or is it when i travel to to london for my treatment the lady i took with me the family now called and said ah oh god ah somebody i paid for to just go and take care of me then then the family called Eh? They heard that you, you are now in London or selling your kidney. Ah. <laughs> now, um, you had a not too pleasant experience with our medical uh, institution in Nigeria. Yes, sir. They almost time. killed me. Do you want to re tell us a bit about I beg, it? I don't want to go there. They almost killed me. Thank God for our blood. Okay, I'd like to know. With all this that had happened, I mean, the only reason, one of the reasons 
all this thing happened the mm -hmm. people that wrote fake news about you and were writing from the else's mouth without mm -hmm. having full information of what was going on they were, they were probably mischievous and mischievous with and someone's probably, life and probably with what you've gained from someone who called somebody in high authority to support you and all that would you say you regret having fame at that point in time uh well i wouldn't say that I wouldn't say that but it's good to be famous in the right way because fame actually paves way for you in so many areas but I want to tell our press people please be authentic with what you are writing and if you are not authentic please say so so and so so thing don't don't say you are from the oh, city, <laughs> ah, I don't understand. Another question that um, a lot of people who are your fans would like to know: You are from, you are not a Yoruba woman. Yes. But you speak Yoruba very well. Okay. She even she's giving us some she's giving us some proverbs. Oh, yeah, right giving us some proverbs <laughs> this afternoon. Can you tell us how that happened? <laughs> Hey, me that I said in Lagos or ah 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 ah. I was not born in Lagos. I was not born in Lagos. Wow! But I I I came to Lagos when I was a kid. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, did you make you did you feel somehow that when you were ill? It was Lagos State Government that came to your head and not your own state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please don't um, don't let go there. Alec. Now let's let's talk about you. Because me have personally said it that there's nothing my state will call me for. Ah, they will pay through their nose for me to be there. They will pay through their nose. Where are you from, Ati? I'm from Arochuku. Arochuku yes. is not the state. Uh, that's a local that's, government. That's that. No, that's Abia. That's Abia. Abia, Abia okay. state. Thank yes. you. Thank yes. you for the clarification. Okay. Um, now, talking about uh, you as a person, will you say that it is um, stardom that affected? That is one of the reasons why you never got married. Was it stardom? <laughs> no. Who? Point of correction. No. <laughs> I was married. Okay. <laughs> Point of, I was Mrs. Wesino. Okay. Uh -huh. We separated though. Okay. Uh -huh. I was married before. Okay. As an actress, the person got married to you as an actress. Yes. Oh. My my uh, late husband. Oh, he's he's wow. late. Okay. May he so rest in Amen. perfect peace. He was a dancer. Wow. Oh, he was also a creative person. Yes. Okay. So I was married like then. Hmm. Uh, well, every every works of life uh, has its own ups and mm -hmm. downs. So obviously, I mean, as a wife, it was okay because I planned. Because if you don't plan, you will fail. True. So when I have productions, I plan my home down. Hey, Ogbeni. Sorry, I'm not available, but I've cooked everything. You can help yourself. Hmm. That's how we're doing it. But what was your relationship after you both separated before his death? Uh, we, were, uh, we were separated and he, and he got married to somebody else before his death. He only died. He died last year. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. But we're no longer together. Together. But you had a cordial relationship? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, tell me, these days, when producers call you for, to play roles, what do you look for in a script? Hmm. Uh, there has to be depth. In a script, there has to be depth. So if I offer you a script now, yeah. that is meaningless and I'm paying well, you are not going to do it? Ah, no, we will sit down. <laughs> I will point out the problem I see there. If and if you don't want to take correction, ah, oh, in your move because I have come this far and I will not 
allow my name to be rubbished, to be put in the mud. Okay, as we are rounding up, Auntie, I want to ask you another important question. A lot of people, in your days, it was difficult for parents to support their children mm. to want to become actress mm. at that time because they always see it as a profession that is not for... No, I want more, I want more, ta. I want to drop out. Yeah. Everybody wanted their mm. child to be a lawyer, yes, so. a doctor, mm -hmm. an engineer. In fact, we were, we were seen as uh, hoodlums. <laughs> but today, I see a lot of parents call me to tell me that their child has talent. <laughs> and what they can they do, how can they develop it, and the rest of it. <laughs> but in another bread, mm. I watched uh, Bim Bakitola's interview a few days back, mm. where she said a lot of actresses are actually living a fake life that yes. because the, the kind of money she sees actresses throw around and push around are not available in the industry so my question is this auntie mm. what is your opinion on that one two what would you advise a young um, child Upcoming. that is living that is listening to you now that wants to be an actress what uh, will you advise the person to do? Uh, um, let's pick it one after the other. Uh, for the one you said, the Bimbo talked about actresses throwing money up and down, down and up. We all know how far. Mm. Uh -uh. Mm. Because me that I'm here, I know that I have worked. And I am still working. And I know where I am. Did you see any Lamborghini packed in my in my in my compound? No. Because I am not doing any shady business. But don't you think that maybe the younger ones are because you know now there is social media, there are uh, a lot of other things you could I know, I know. I know, but that is not to the amount, Jesus, that the is amount not to wanted. the amount, ah, ah, hapa, <laughs> leave this thing, you are a media person, I'm a media person, wa ah, but don't turn wow, ah, you are a media person, I'm a media person, so even if you are into other businesses, abba, we know how far would the income now, Ah. Okay, so what advice is are you going to give a young actress? Me for upcoming uh, people, um, my advice is this, school first. Because these days, the young ones have learned one thing and I don't welcome it. They think that all that glitters is gold. Is gold. So, they want to cut corners. I have I've gone to schools where I went to give a motivational talk and my my when I leave these students will ask for my phone number and when I give it to them what they asked me for <clears throat> is alarming and I'm like face your studies now leave that in <laughs> face your book Kawino <clears throat> get that certificate first uh -uh. get the certificate first then you can diversify you can do whatever you want to I remember a lady who said the, the, the parents wanted her to be a, a lawyer and then she went to school became the lawyer but she after the school <laughs> she threw it away <laughs> and what she wanted was business and salon and that's what she did and she's prosperous. So for me, my advice to the younger ones, please, education is key. First and foremost. foremost. And that is when you will not be cheated. Hmm. Okay. Because you wouldn't know better. Yes, so you would know better if you are educated. Finally for me. Know better. Finally for me. We have several incomes, streaming incomes. Yes. We have 
we have the streaming platforms mm -hmm. we have the regular um tv we have the cinema we have mm. the youtube yes they all have content instagram and they call yeah. you instagram they mm. call you oh and i want you to come and do this kit for me they pay um i want you to do on i don't want you to do this series it would mm -hmm. go on mm -hmm. one um st uh, streaming platform or so or i want you to do this is a big cinema film i want you to feature yeah. they, they'll call you for all that which would you say gives you the biggest hmm. in terms of remuneration and fame um i will say tv I'll say TV, yeah. TV does. Because it's all over. It's all over. Now, I know that YouTube is another way to gain popularity. But it's not as big as television. Television, television yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Auntie, for coming. Um, it's been the last time goes so fast when you are learning very well. So revealing. And so so revealing. revealing. So so revealing. So much, and I know that those who are listening at home too have learned a lot from you. And uh, we pray that uh, we will continue to see you in good health and Amen. continue to make us uh, very happy when we switch on our. TV. Amen. It's been a fantastic edition, like I promised you when we were starting. Uh, we had um, Antium Gosu and we had uh, Clarence Peters. Till next week, when we come with two other fantastic guests, please keep watching Nollywood. Keep watching Nollywood. And remember, Inside Life is on Netflix. A lot of fantastic movies are on Amazon, including um, Life and Death. Um, off shot and the rest of it and still in the cinema is uh, queen latifah and uh, farmer's bride thank you for listening from me and baron we'll be here next week again with other incredible guests thank you for listening mm -hmm.